All right, so I'm gonna dig into this D16Y7. First, I'm gonna fix this big fuel leak right here. We're gonna see if we can get this thing running better. Maybe change the head gasket. I mean, look how easy this car is to work on. I mean, a child could probably figure this thing out. So I think it should be pretty easy. So let's see if we can figure out why it's running so rough. Here's a fuel leak issue. Look at that O-ring. <laughs> I wonder why it sprayed fuel out. So that's step one to fix. We'll figure that out. We'll go from there. Pull this valve cover off and see what's going on underneath there. Definitely has a blown head gasket. But look how easy it is to work on. There's five bolts right here. And there should be five on the back. All I have to do is pull this header off, pull the intake manifold bolts out, time belt off, and then should be able to lift it right out. Sensor here and there, but you should be able to do a head gasket on one of these in a, you know, less than an hour. That's not including resurfacing the head, but it's like a 30 horsepower engine. I think it'll be all right. As you can see, we know this isn't the right engine for this car. But you can see everything, a lot of stuff unplugged, a lot of stuff plugged with bolts and stuff. There's oil in the intake manifold a little bit, but that was super easy to take apart. You just gotta take this timing cover off and the timing belt and then the head should come off just take out the 10 bolts a couple plugs here and there Well, it looks like it's been changed before because you can see the copper spray everywhere. Look at all the coolant. I mean, that's probably for me, but. Look at the gasket here. It's got copper spray on it. Looks like, uh, I don't really know much about this kind of stuff, but it doesn't look very good to me. It's almost like they, they took the head gasket off and then just sprayed it and put it back on. This thing's still warm. Look how small these cylinders are. Crazy. So small. A little bit of like copper pitting. Definitely pitting right there. This is how you get water out of the cylinders, right? All right, well, let's see if I can go to head gasket, clean this thing up, maybe give it a little spit shine, sand down, get rid of these little rough spots. 
Maybe throw a straight edge on it and see how warped it is, but it's got to be warped. If I had mounts, I'd be putting an F-Series in it right now. I think I got one in the shed or something. But look how small these cylinders are. Well, it looks like somebody was trying to figure this car out. There's a new crank sensor. Um, tensioner looks kind of kind of newish. Water pump looks new. Looks like somebody's been in here. Still got an OEM oil pump on it. Belt looks all right. So we might be lucky after we fix this head gasket. It's got these stupid freaking things on it though. Same thing with that blue car. I guess it's part of the Honda world. Doesn't have the front bracket for the other engine. Bolt missing there. Bolt missing there. A lot of things that make this car nice. I mean, it could be a nice car. Just gotta put some effort into it. Looks like an OEM Honda filter also. But the cylinder walls look good. Pistons look good. Such a small little engine. Look at that. It's... My finger is bigger. Welcome back to Frank's Machine Shop. So I got, this is for like doing hardwood floors. It's actually got a sticky back on it. So I peeled that off, put it on a flat surface. That's from the valves hitting. So I had to loosen the cam caps. So the valves are all sunk in. So it shouldn't go anywhere. I should be able to drag it right across. This is 80 and I'm gonna go to 120 after we see what this looks like. So let me run this through a few times and see what, how it comes out. I don't have my tripod, it's in the garage. a few passes you can see how there's some low spots right where I thought low 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 you can see how it touched the edge real good but not in the middle low spot there so I'm gonna run it a few a more a couple of times a lot of low spots Well, it looks a lot better. That's just brake clean and stuff on it right now, but. Still have this little spot right here, but I can't feel it. And then it looks pretty dang good. For 10 bucks in sandpaper. We'll see if it works. I don't want to put any money into this engine because it's gonna come out of the car. But if I could fix it for free or for 10 bucks, look at all the metal. If I could fix it for 10 bucks and drive it, you know, why not? So we'll let that sit overnight and maybe we'll uh, put it on tomorrow. I'm not doing it tonight. All right, so we're gonna throw this head back on. I uh, surfaced her up. Let's see if it holds. All right, the head's all torqued down. The cams are all torqued down. This should be a top dead center. That should be straight up and down. I plugged in the temperature sensor. Water temperature sensor, EGT sensor. This is the distributor, I believe. And we're ready to put it back together. All right, I don't know if it's gonna start, but I think I got most of it hooked back up. I think the firing right order is right, we'll find out. That's plugged in and there's oil in it and let's see what happens.
Running pretty good. I'm trying to get it to drink some water. Oh, it's not spill water. Get the thermostat to open. Found a 92 EG here. I got the subframe. Someone actually already started taking it out. So all I had to pull was the forks, the lower ball joints and the steering and the shifter cable. I don't know why they gave up, but if they show back up, I might give it to them. But this is the first piece that's needed for the K-Swap in the red car. Power steering rack also. All right, first drive ever in the Civic. Runs a little rough. All I did was a head gasket, that was it, nothing else. Nothing else. I don't know if this is road worthy, but we'll see. Yeah, misfires for sure. There's no gas in it. I'm probably going way too far with this thing. Going way too far with this thing. I don't have my wallet on me, nothing. We're gonna pop a Huey. Wow, the turning radius is great though. I can't do that in mine, any of my other cars. got that blinking check engine light. I, oh, I think there's just a bunch of sensors that aren't plugged in correctly. But this thing is bottomed out. So here we go, first drive in the Civic. We're gonna run up to my work and see why the check engine light's on. Put a little bit of fuel on it. See what she does, see if she overheats. I don't even know if the cooling fan works, but I brought some wires and a battery in case I have to ghetto rig it. But let's take her for a ride. All my turn signals work, my headlights, my brake lights. I went down to the junkyard and got sockets. It was missing the sockets for the lights. So that's all good to go. Let's see how far we make it. Might be another day I use AAA. Oh, look at her smoking. Well, I was unable to read the engine codes. My scanner at work would not read the car. Uh, probably doesn't help that it's the wrong ECU for the wrong engine and all that. But I made sure the firing order was correct. I made sure that the injectors were in the correct order. All that it just doesn't run very smooth. Probably needs a distributor because it's an aftermarket distributor and on Hondas, they don't like aftermarket distributors. But we're taking it home now. Uh, we got the Acura alignment today in a couple of minutes. So let's go get ready well, for that. for having the wrong engine in the car, no suspension, one cylinder running, it's actually riding pretty good. A little noisy on the tires and everything, but when you have no suspension, you'll have that. But, you know, check engine light's flashing. But we'll figure that out here shortly. At least that's the plan. It doesn't ride bad. Speedometer works, tack works, temperature gauge works, fuel gauge works, radio works. We got a roller. She rolling. First time that the Civic has been in the garage. So I'm gonna try this real quick. This is, was in the car, looks like a used coil. Well, it looks like they replaced this. I'm gonna put the OEM or the whatever, the old one back in and uh, 
see if there was a reason they changed it or maybe they didn't know the head gasket was blown. So I'm just trying to figure out why it misfires. I'll tell you one big thing about working on this car compared to the Acura so far. I can kneel on the ground and lay on the radio support and work on this. On the Acura, you have to stand up and you know how it hurts the back of your, your knees. So this is sweet already. I mean, the plugs don't look great, especially like that one. Looks a little burnt, but we're gonna do a compression test on it because why not? One fifty cylinder one, one one seventy five on two, a little less on three. Number four, 175. So this is the only one that's like 150. I think they're all all right. All righty, I put some new spark plugs in, some uh, NGK, Platinum, G-Power. Oh, still got spires. Oh, I get knocked now. And it knocks now. Well, I don't know if I kissed a piston with this, but how? I put the old ones in, so let's see what happens. On the same cylinder, cylinder one hit. It's in time, I even just verified it. Let's see if we kiss the piston again. Yeah, it kissed the piston again. How does it keep kissing pistons? Well, I'm not sure at this point, but let's turn it back up. Let's see what happens. Blows up, blows up. Well, now that I think about it, I know how this happened. I did the compression test and the nipple was still down in the head. I screwed this down into that. It bent it, I didn't notice it. And I put it in without noticing that I bent it. So that's my fault. So I put all the new ones in and then one old style I had from my F series. So let's see what it does now. So let's see if we get rid of this misfire. I got injectors from the junkyard and uh, the igniter. I'm not sure. I don't think it's called the igniter. Um, I don't know what it's called for the distributor. What would this thing be called? I'm not sure, but I got new injectors too, or used injectors. See if we can figure out this misfire. The injectors I got out of the junkyard were out of the same motor, a D16Y7. They had a green tip. All these have a orange tip. So I wonder if these are the wrong injectors for the car. So we're gonna take it for a ride and see what happens before we change the distributor part. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Way better. 